Mr Speaker, the member will have to wait and see. Question number seven, Dr Shane Ritty. Uh, to the Minister of Health, does he stand by the government's misuse of drugs medicinal cannabis amendment bill and the government's medicinal cannabis policies? The Honourable Dr David Clark. <laughs> Mr Speaker, yes, New Zealanders are a compassionate people. No one wants to see people suffering and medicinal cannabis provides another option to find relief. This legislation that we've put to the House goes further than any previous parliament has gone. It represents real progress in making these products more widely available. Supplementary. In what sort of locations will medicinal cannabis be allowed to be grown under this bill? Mr Speaker, those details will be worked through by the regulatory body that's been set up. Uh, Mr Speaker, today a bill uh, which has not yet been tabled uh, was was entertained in front of the media uh, by the National Party. They haven't consulted more widely on it, so we haven't seen it. But one thing that seems clear is that the regime that they're putting forward, from what we can see from the media, would compromise the ability of the regulators to respond to an emerging market situation with an evolving safety profile and changing technologies. It doesn't look like any solution at all at this stage. Is the use of loose-leaf cannabis allowed under this bill? Mr Speaker, uh, I think that's unlikely, but we will see what the experts say. This member wants to politicise the issue rather than listen to the experts. It's all a political game. If they'd really wanted to make progress, they had nine years to do that. Mr Speaker, how does that answer reconcile with reply to written question 489, where the Minister states, quote, the bill will not restrict the exception and defence to the possession and use of cannabis to any particular dosage form. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, I haven't got that particular detail in front of me and what the member's question was, because the member's question is the critical point in that and how it was framed, uh, but I will be taking advice from experts, uh, Mr Speaker. This is not a political game for us on this side of the House. We are going further than any government has gone before, and we're very proud of it, because people suffering shouldn't be made into a political game like that member's trying to do. Speaker. Why has the Minister not done the work and presented a detailed and workable medicinal cannabis scheme as we have presented today? Uh, Mr Speaker, I don't think anybody uh, believes the member, let alone himself. Uh, we have uh, just put through a select committee process which was thorough. The member is risking disrespecting those people that presented to that committee. There was an opportunity for constructive engagement to make real meaningful change and that member's party is just playing a game with it. Uh, question number eight, Dr Liz Craig. Okay. My question is to the Minister of Health and asked, 